Hi, Strom Fryer here. I'm speaking primarily to the patients that have back pain, and I'm just rereading again Back Mechanic, the Stuart McGill's book. And there's a section, a chapter called Self Your Self Assessment. So there are certain things that reduce pain, in particular. If you have a disc bulge or a suspected disc bulge, one of the postures that will help reduce symptoms is lying down. And he speaks about lying prone. I think supine lying or lying on your back, also with your knees up, can, uh, can be an indicator that this is a discogenic or a disc bul bulge problem. So if you look under you know, his step five, which is examining your pain category and recognizing patterns. Pain with spine flexion, what does that mean? And what does that look like from inside the spine? Well, spine flexion is the act of bending forward, rounding your back in this fashion. If it hurts to bend forward, for example, you are creating compression on the structures on the front of your spine, which are the intervertebral discs. And the disc is made up of these different two main components, collagenous materials that actually make up the disc. So on the very inside, you've got a nucleus and then you've got an annulus. And you can see that red tear right there. Uh, surgeons call that... Uh, granulation tissue. Granulation tissue is tissue that looks like um, if you kind of, you know, if you scrape your skin, for example, and then like, you know, a significant scrape, there's that hue, that pink hue that kind of forms over that, you know, that fresh tissue. Well, this is similar to what they see surgically when they go in there and they do laser surgery, for example. Um, but there's a way to help reduce that granulation tissue. You just have to be mindful that you're not creating repetitive lumbar flexion because lumbar flexion will push the nucleus backwards. I don't know if you can see that, but when, you, when it goes into flexion, the nucleus will actually come back and push and spread open this annulus, which is this white part around the edge, you can see these nerves on the outer periphery. And the nerves actually have a tendency to grow in deeper once there's that granulation tissue. So you've got to prevent that nucleus from tracking into that annular fissure. And that's simply done by not pushing that nucleus backwards. You can see lumbar flexion or bending forward, you can see here, right, there's that tear you can see right in the IVF there, in a vertebral foramen, and when bending forward, will actually push that nucleus back. You want to stop creating a spreading of the annular tissue because it can generate inflammation deep within the disc. And Sir McGill talks about the short stop squat for making sure that you're getting out of the chair like this and you're just minimizing flexion, right? You want to minimize kind of flexion. It's kind of hard with the, like that, but you want to minimize flexion. You want to maintain this because then you're not tracking that nucleus back in to that annulus, which is so important to understand. So remember, if you have pain, inflection it's very likely a disc that's creating your symptoms and you got to figure out the best ways to move to reduce inflammation within the annulus mm -hmm.